Corey Brewer, retired NBA player, played 13 years. I was the seventh pick in the 2007 draft. It's crazy for me to actually end up at the University of Florida. We were the first school to have three guys going to the top 10 in the NBA draft. That's a feat. Nobody, nobody ever did that. The way I played was being from here, being from Portland, Tennessee. Um, I think being from a small town, you learn, learn hard work, because everybody in my town worked really hard. I used to have to go to the fields with my dad. We had a great relationship. It was amazing to be able to just follow him around and do everything he did. I think I learned to drive a tractor when I was like nine years old. But my mom, she was, she was at every game. I don't think my mom ever missed a game since I was freaking four years old. I had a great childhood. There'd be days where we'd come out here in the morning, go in the house, take a break for lunch, and we'd come back out here. We'd literally play all day. I take a lot of L's. <laughs> Cause I was a little brother. He was a little brother, so I beat him up a little bit. I, I'm gonna tell you one thing about him, y'all. He never backed down. It was one of those things where people started saying, uh, man, you're good, you, you can go to the NBA. Everybody has dreams, but it's one of those dreams I didn't think it was gonna come true. When I, when I first got to Florida, we were good, but we wasn't great. Sophomore year, we, we were ranked like 75th or not even ranked at all. And then we go on and win the national championship. It's hard to win one national championship, we won two. After championship number one, we kind of all knew we were going to get drafted in the first round if we left. I'm actually going to have a chance to go to the NBA. I, I got to go to the NBA. I can take care of my family. You know, that's what most people dream of. You get to take care of your family. And I came home that summer and I talked to my parents and never forget, my dad was like, I live my life, I'm 60 years old. Don't go to the NBA for me, you do it for you. So if you're not ready to go, don't go, go back to school. But after we won the second championship, it was like, you pretty much guaranteed you're gonna be top 10. It meant a lot, just to go through the process with Al and Joe, like we go from having food fights in the dorm room to we're really about to shake David Stern's hand. Like, stuff you dream about, like, you can't, like, you can't make this up. <laughs> First thing that went through my head when I was drafted was, wow, I'm really in the NBA. Corey Brewer from Portland, Tennessee, I'm in the NBA. Not even that, I'm the seventh pick <laughs> of the NBA draft. My mom, she can get whatever she wants. Like, my dad, like, what do you guys want? Like, but it's crazy that they don't really want anything. <laughs> like, to this day, my mom doesn't ask for anything. I won an NBA championship. I went to Dallas, got to play for the Mavs, got to play with Dirk Nowinski, Jason Kidd, Sean Marion, Jason Terry, like, Tyson Chandler. Like, I was really on a championship team. So that's a memory that Man, I think about that all the time. I actually I want a ring. Anytime I come home, period, when I come to Portland, Tennessee, it's like, it's the best place ever. It's home. So many memories um, from me playing here, from watching my brother play here. Just being in this gym means, means everything. Always gonna be a special place. So I'm just waiting for the next person to come out of Portland and make it. And I think they're gonna be able to tell the same story I told. They can look and they can be like, yeah, Corey Brewer made it, I can make it too. <laughs> <laughs>